So I upgraded my laser engraver, wood cutter is what I really use it for the most, but um, I was taken to a friend's house to engrave uh, the, a corner of his table that he had made. And that's right, you can take this workpiece and move it on. Like again, this is a table I made that it's sitting on. I haven't engraved this and I don't want to, but he wanted to engrave a message to his fiance there and you can put it in the corner, set your parameter, engrave it, my own one, and um, I got a small fender bender and the extruded aluminum piece is bent. Now I could probably buy these. Um, that said, um, I wanted to upgrade my laser so it had the ability to cut thicker items. Um, I, again, my first one was an Adam stack and it worked phenomenally well. I really was impressed with it, so I, I just upgraded the laser to a 10 watt, which that's the other thing. So like I said, I use this predominantly for woodworking and uh, actually doing some inlay and cutting out wood. So these cutting boards that I make with these handles, I can cut acrylic with this. And actually up to 15 millimeters of acrylic and uh, 20 millimeters of wood. So a pretty deep inlay and a pretty deep, uh, if I was making a jig to cut those out and one of the consistent jig, that's a pretty thick piece of acrylic to be able to cut out with, with a laser. Um, and it's extremely clean because they use, uh, what I'm told, I mean, I'm taking it apart, I'm not a scientist, but it's a double convex, convex uh, lens that the laser passes through. So it shrinks that laser down so you get a cleaner cut. I think they said they advertise a laser to 1,000, 1,200 degrees, even cutting my thickest acrylic, which is probably close to at least a, 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 a half an inch. Um, had no problem and the cuts were clean so just to give you guys an idea of how thick that is that's the acrylic and that's the wood wood depth so i mean the dollar bill is a reference that front line is acrylic that back line is wood and they really say i see mixed reviews i haven't tried to cut any thicker but that's pretty darn thick um completely removed uh, x and y axis however the one downfall and i don't mind doing it is the z axis is totally manual o other lasers that are this cost may have some z capabilities movement but um whatever so again i'll show you what i typically do with this i'm not going to run it now but i would set this down you get your depth move your z axis boom the depth and that would give you your 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 depth and everything and like i said this would be moved parameters i engraved my initials over here or somebody's initials um and again pretty powerful uh, pretty easy to put together. Some people are a little, um, now take this out, a little concerned about building their own product. Again, the build is just the frame, the extruded aluminum frame, nothing too difficult. Um, you obviously put your, 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 your access lot or your access, uh, what would you call them, belts in and run them and tighten those four screws and put caps on them. I mean, it is really easy. Um, very nice that this is magnetic. So if you wanted to have a better angle with this, you had a table that you were working on, you could get it, but it does nicely. It has mag, uh, mag, you know, the readout, what your wattage is and what your output is. Um, pretty easy to do. Again, I highly suggest anybody that's interested in being like a maker or kind of messing with the stuff on their own. Uh, this is a very cool item to have. I'll give me some close-ups here. Full measurement reads. Nice. These are painted on, not laser engraved, but um, still, I don't think they're going anywhere. Um, see that the light's kind of messing with it. Boom. Then you do get some nice, eh, I'm not gonna be able to do it now. Maybe not. You do get some nice light ups, LEDs in the back of the, the on off and all that, um, which is kind of cool. I mean, you don't need it, but you can see if I manually move this, it light up. Um, so pretty nice unit. Um, would, the only thing I could say is if it had a Z access, I'm able to move, but whatever.